Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a governor's prediction analyst of 2022. Um, yeah, some primaries happened a couple of days ago at this point, which is going to be a major diff, um, a major, uh, what you might call it, I don't even know what to say, a major indi indication of what the races are going to look like. So I'm just going to do an update of that. First two states that we can know that are not going to be close in, or anything are the following states. Oops. These states will likely be safe and are not going to be really competitive at all. So the following states will be safe Republican states and safe Democratic states will be these states right here. So first, let's start off with Minnesota, my home state. Polls are favoring Tim Walls by a lot. Tim Walls will likely win, in my opinion. He's going to win by a lean margin. Polls are really favoring him anywhere from three to five points. Scott Jensen is not going to win. any. What, like, There's only five polls showing he's going to win, basically, and half of them are basically an exact tie. So this is a race that's favoring the Democrats by a lot, but their margins can be smaller because some – third party voters I mean some third party some of the third party will steal votes from the Tim Walls and the Democrats so that's why um, I'm going to give that to in a lean margin probably take away 2% of the vote from him but he Tim 538 is giving him an 89 and 100 chance of winning and he is likely just going to demolish um Scott Jensen. He, Scott Jensen's not going to win at all. There's no, no, um, nothing that's going to say he's going to win. And now we're, we're going to move on to Wisconsin. Wisconsin, I think, will be a one. I'm going to give this a lean to the, we, uh, to, sorry, to the, uh, Republican parties. 538, this is probably the state they're really crappy at. Wisconsin really has terrible polls, so the polls really don't, are not good in the state. But Tony Evers has a 70 in 100 chance of winning on 538, and Rebecca Cleefish has 31. And that's I think that's pretty unlikely, because d Wisconsin hasn't voted with the incumbent party since 1990 with Tommy Thompson. And it's like, Biden is pretty unpopular. Tony Evers is from Wisconsin. Wisconsin is a trending red state. So this is probably going to go to Rebecca Cleefish in a leap margin. The polls are showing Tony Evers winning by 4 to 20 points. But this is a race that in a state that the polls really suck. So this will probably just, at, at election day, this will probably be a lean margin for um, Rebecca Cleefish. Michigan, well, Illinois, that would be safe. J.B. Pritzker is going to win. There's no way freaking Darren Bailey or whatever his name is is going to win. He's in like, or like, People think it's going to be a likely margin. That's just like freaking being really biased. I'm sorry, but come on. It's J.B. Pritzker, Illinois. It's going to be a safe margin. Um, nothing really to say about Illinois, to be honest, though. Michigan, I think, is going to be a lean margin. Probably four points for Wimmer. She has a four-point approval rating, so I do think that would be appropriate. The Michigan GOP has really just has really just, just have been terrible. They are just like in the shambles. Um, Tuber Dixon... Christian Wimmer has the, one of the best chances of winning. She almost has a hundred chance of winning. She has ninety-five in a one hundred chance of winning, to, according to five thirty-eight. And Tour Dixon only has um, five scenarios where she wins. One, she only wins by zero point one. And so this is a race that's really just not going to favor the Republicans at all. This is a state that Wimmer's going to win. One poll shows Wimmer leading by almost forty points. That's obviously not going to happen, but that is a big deal. The polls are kind of crappy, though. But Whitmer really is a good candidate, somewhat is an okay candidate, okay governor. Her approval ratings can go up and down as time goes. But Tuber Dixon, there's really no chance of her winning, sadly. Next, Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, both of the thing about Pennsylvania, both of the candidates are really suck. Josh Shapiro is a bad candidate, and so is Doug Mastranio, but this will probably be a state... Um, that what you call that uh Shapiro will win by a tilt 
margin. And I'll say lean margin because I think he'll win by 1.5 points or something like that. I think that would be appropriate margin. So I'm going to say like the same margin he won again. Biden won and maybe a little lower probably. But this is a lean margin, 1.5 points probably. Um, but this is, I think, a race that the Democrats are favored in. Polls are showing Shapiro leading by 10, 11, 13, 3, 4, 3 points again. This is a race that Doug Mastrani is a pretty extremist, to be honest. He was at January 6th for turning around. This is a state that, you know, Josh Shapiro is just going to win. But I don't know about the margin. The margin's kind of tricky, but I just know Josh Shapiro is going to win. Next, not a lot to say about Maine. It's going to be a lean margin. The, um, the polls are really weird. Like, the second district voters will vote for um, Le Page. I almost said Le Pen, like from France, but Janet Mills is likely to win. She's an incumbent in Maine. It's not any chance that Le Page is going to win. It's kind of funny, though, because he has a better chance than Tuber Dixie of winning, according to 538. But this, she'll probably win by three, five, three, four, uh, three to five points. That's pretty it. That's what all the polls are showing, too. Not a lot to say about Maine, to be honest. Next, we're going to do the South. So, the, you know, the rust collar in states and upper states favor the Democrats. The South is really, like, I don't care. Florida's just going to be safe at this point. It's probably going to be over 10 points. Um, Georgia will be likely. Um, so will Texas. This is, like, these are two states that both candidates... Are, both of these states are kind of moving to the left, mostly Georgia. Texas is moving to the left, in my opinion, but by a way smaller margin than compared to Georgia. But Stacey Abrams is not is kind of a bad candidate this year, to be honest. I love Stacey Abrams, but she's a pretty not good candidate against an incumbent in Georgia. She had, had if she couldn't win in 2018, she probably was not going to have a chance in 2022. So I'm gonna. That's why I think she's probably gonna lose. Polls are showing Brian Kemp having an 85 point chance of winning. That's even higher than LePage, and um, you know Kemp is leading by five to eight points, and even ten points in one poll. So this is a, a race that the de- Democrats should just say goodbye to, not give up completely because this is a state they still want to try and. In, but this will likely just be a likely state for the um, Republicans. And now in Texas, Texas could be a lot bigger of a landslide. This could even be a safe margin. Um, Greg Abbott has a 95 in 100 chance of winning, according to 538. Um, Beto O'Rourke has a 5% um, 5 in 100 chance of winning. And they're really small margins, all those scenarios they show. Abbott's leading by eight to seven points. He'll probably win by eight points because it's not. It would be safe, but Greg Abbott is a pretty unpopular governor ever since the uh, just everything really. It's just really unpopular. So, really, not a lot to say about this race, um, except that Greg Abbott's going to win. Beto O'Rourke is not that good of a candidate. So, in Kansas, Kansas is five thirty eight is really weird with Kansas. They have it fifty to 50-50. Laura Kelly has a 50 chance winning, so does Derek Smith. This will probably be a state that Republican Democrats, I mean, Republicans will win. This is a state, this is a year that is favoring the Republican Party on um, this election. And Kansas, Laura Kelly only won in 2018 because of a terrible candidate. In t- and it was a blue wave year, and she also ran against a terrible candidate, and Kansas is not too far right. So that's why she won in 2018. She, she like, this will probably be a lean margin, to be honest, at this point. This is a state that Laura Kelly's not going to do well in. But abortion, she could help because, I don't know, Kansas is weird on abortion. I think that would help her, though. But, yeah. Not a lot to say about Kansas right now. Derek Smith will likely win. And next we have New Mexico. New Mexico, I this is a weird one. My, Michelle uh, Wuhan Grissom will likely win. But I think it will be really close. I think it will be a tilt margin. I support Mark Ronchetti personally, which a lot of people do not um, really know. But Mar- I don't know. I don't know. Like Michelle, she's just like too uh, corrupt for me personally. But um, I do think she's gonna win. 
only the polls. There's not a lot of polls, but this showing they're winning by three to four points. But also polls showing Ronchetti by two or one point. So this will probably be a state that will be a tilt margin because this could be competitive. Mark Ronchetti can win though, but I think this will be a tilt state for the Democrats. Or even well, this will probably be a lean state to be honest. Even though I would like Ron, Mark Ronchetti. Now we only have three states to go. I'm just gonna do I'm Arizona. This will probably be a lean state, and this well, this will probably be a tilt state. Katie Hobbs is not gonna win. She's such a terrible candidate. She's um, well, how do I describe her? She's kind of a uh, she's just like an establishment liberal, I guess. She's Speaker of the Arizona House or something like that. Probably not, but something like it. Like Arizona State Politics. And 538 says Carrie Lake is has a uh, 30, 43 um, in 100 chance of winning. And this is just a race that's just like, I don't know, the polls showing Kate, are showing Katie Hobbs leading. But I feel like Carrie Lake is going to win, in my opinion. I don't know, the polls are pretty inaccurate. I think Katie Hobbs is a really bad candidate to appeal to independence. So this is a state I'm going to have to give to Carrie Lake by 0 0.5 to 1 point or maybe even more. This, In the best case scenario, this could be 5 points for Carrie Lake. Maybe. I'm just throwing it out there. And this might be a pretty unpopular opinion, but I do think Steve Sisolak will win by a lean margin. This is Nevada. And a uh, and this is different because abortion, abortion, here's the thing about abortion. Abortion, governors, well, the Democrats are going to be more favored by abortion than they are. Well, yeah, governors, the Democrats will be more favored. Um, abortion will help the Democrats and governors more in Senate. Because Senate, governors is like control of the state, basically. So their state laws will say what they think about abortion. And this is Nevada, which is a very democratic state. So I do think this is a safe to select will win. He does have he is approved of for the most part, I believe. He has a two percent approval rating. He has a sixty percent chance of winning according to five thirty eight. Polls are showing him leading by three to two points. And even one showing him by twelve points. That will never happen. But this will probably be a state that he will win by two points, in my opinion. This is gonna be a close state, but most most of the time Democrats do win Nevada by two points for some reason. It's a weird trend, and everybody thinks Nevada is going to be way closer than it is, but it always just goes to the Democrats. But this is a state that I think that it's just going to go to the Democrats. And Oregon, the last state, this is a state I'm not really paying too much attention to, to be honest. But this will probably just go to uh, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to give this to the Democrats by lean margin. I don't really know what to say. I'm not paying attention to the state. Um. I'm just going to say what the polls say, and I'll make it a likely margin. I do not know about Oregon at all, so I'm just not going to comment on it. So this is my final prediction. I do think the Rep Democrats will have 22 um, governor seats, while the Republican Republicans have 28. I do think some close states, I'm going to change that to a tilt margin. I forgot. That should not be lean, I think. But this is, I think this, Wisconsin, Arizona, well, not Arizona, well, Wisconsin, Kansas, and Arizona will be close states, but I do think the Republicans will flip it because this is your favoring them. Um, but that's what I think the map would look like. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Do you agree? What changes would you make? Um, yeah, but I hope you guys enjoy the video, and see you guys again another time.